When we flick on a light switch, power up our computers, or charge our phones, we rarely think about the massive infrastructure quietly working behind the scenes to make that possible. Deep within electrical substations, power plants, and industrial facilities, there's one unsung hero that ensures electricity flows safely and reliably, electrical switch gear. In this video, we're going to unpack what electrical switch gear is, why it's so important, how it works, and how it helps keep everything running smoothly in our electrified world, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand switchgear, let's take a quick look at the bigger picture, the electrical power system. Electricity is generated at power stations, transmitted over high voltage lines, and then distributed to homes, businesses, and factories. Along this journey, switchgear acts like a traffic controller and bodyguard rolled into one. It manages the flow of electricity and protects the system from damage when faults occur. So, what exactly is electrical switchgear? At its core, switchgear is a combination of electrical disconnect switches, fuses, and circuit breakers that are used to isolate, protect, and control electrical equipment. Think of it as the control hub for electrical power. It decides when electricity should flow, when it should stop, and how to respond when something goes wrong. There are two main categories of switchgear, high voltage and low voltage, depending on the level of voltage they're designed to handle. High voltage switchgear is commonly found in transmission systems, those huge stations you might see while driving on a highway, whereas low voltage switchgear is used in buildings and small industrial settings. In large facilities, switchgear is often installed in specialized rooms or enclosures. You'll see rows of cabinets containing breakers, relays, and metering equipment. Engineers and technicians use these systems not only to manage electricity, but also to monitor performance and plan maintenance. But why is this equipment so essential? Well, electrical faults, such as short circuits, overloads, or insulation failures, can cause serious damage. Without switchgear, these faults could destroy transformers, set cables on fire, or even injure people. Switchgear detects these faults in milliseconds and either isolates the issue or shuts down the affected part of the network to prevent wider problems. It's fast, precise, and critical. One of the biggest misconceptions is that electricity is always predictable, but it's not. Load surges and component failures can happen any time. That's why switchgear is so important. It keeps the system smart and safe. The concept of switchgear isn't new. In fact, it dates back to the early days of electricity in the late 19th century. Back then, systems were simple and protection was basic usually involving manual switches and fuses. As the electrical grid evolved, so did the technology. Today's switchgear is a marvel of engineering, featuring automation, real-time monitoring, and even remote operation. Now let's talk about the different types of switchgear. We can break switchgear down into three primary types based on the medium used to interrupt the current, air insulated, gas insulated, and vacuum insulated. Air insulated switchgear, AIS, uses air as the insulating medium. It's the most traditional type, often used in low to medium voltage applications. It's relatively inexpensive and easy to maintain but takes up more space. Gas insulated switchgear, GIS, on the other hand, uses sulfur hexafluoride gas, SF6, which is a superior insulator. GIS is compact and ideal for locations where space is limited, like urban substations. However, SF6 is a potent greenhouse gas, so modern designs aim to minimize leaks and improve sustainability. 
Vacuum switch gear is commonly used in medium voltage systems. It's highly efficient at extinguishing arcs caused by switching and requires very little maintenance. Each type has its strengths, and the choice often depends on the application environment and budget. Let's take a moment to talk about maintenance, because switch gear isn't just set it and forget it. These systems are expected to perform reliably for years, sometimes even decades. Regular inspections, testing, and component replacements are key to avoiding failures. For example, circuit breakers, a vital part of switchgear, need to be tested for proper operation. Over time, contacts can wear out, insulation can degrade, and dust or moisture can cause issues. Some modern switchgear systems come with built-in diagnostics to alert operators when maintenance is needed. That's the power of smart technology. In these settings, reliability isn't just a technical issue. It's a business one. Downtime costs money, and faulty power can damage expensive equipment. That's why more and more industries are investing in advanced switchgear systems that combine protection, automation, and efficiency. But switchgear isn't just for large, permanent setups. Temporary switchgear solutions are used on construction sites during major events or in disaster recovery situations. These portable systems help provide safe, reliable electricity where it's needed most, quickly and efficiently. With the rise of renewable energy, switchgear is playing an even bigger role. Solar and wind power introduce more complexity to the grid. Energy sources are now decentralized, and power flows in both directions. This means modern switchgear must be capable of handling variability, voltage fluctuations, and bi-directional current, while still providing the same level of protection. It's not just about managing electricity anymore, it's about managing intelligent electricity. Grids are becoming smarter, and so is switchgear. Every illuminated street, buzzing factory, and cozy home is backed by the silent guardians that keep our power safe, stable, and under control. So the next time the lights come on, just remember, somewhere, switchgear made it happen. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.